Now, let's talk about how we can solve this particular problem. Log x squared is equal to log x squared. What do you think we need to do to find the answer? If you want to try it, feel free to pause the video. Now, there's a property of logs that you need to be familiar with. For instance, log a to the fifth power is equal to, you can move the exponent to the front, and this is equal to 5 log a. So using that same technique, we could move the exponent 2 to the front. So log x squared is equal to 2 times log x. So that's the first thing that we want to do. Now, what do you think we need to do next at this point? What I recommend doing is taking 2 log x and moving it to the right side of the equation. It's positive on the right side, but it will be negative on the left side. So we're going to have log x squared minus 2 log x. Now, what do you think we need to do at this point? What's our next step? The next step is to use substitution. We could pick any variable. Let's choose the variable a. We're going to set a equal to log x. Now, if a is equal to log x, that means that a squared is equal to log x squared. So we can replace log x squared with a squared in this expression and log x with a. So this will give us negative 2a. At this point, the next best thing to do is to factor the GCF, the greatest common factor. So we could factor on a. a squared divided by a is a. Negative 2a divided by a is negative 2. Now, using the zero product property, we could set each factor equal to zero. So we could set a and a minus 2 equal to 0. For the second equation, I mean the second equation rather, we're going to add 2 to both sides. So we get a is equal to 2. Since a is equal to 0 and a is equal to log x, we can say that log x is equal to 0. Now a is also equal to 2, which means log x is equal to 2. So we're going to get two different answers for this problem. Now, there's another property of logs that you need to be familiar with. Let's say we have this expression, log base a of b is equal to c. So right now, it's in its logarithmic form. We can convert it into its exponential form by using this process. a raised to the c is equal to b. Now, we don't have a base for log, but if you don't see a number, always assume that it's 10. So what we have here is base 10 for both of these expressions. Now, let's convert it into its exponential form. 10 raised to the 0 power is equal to x. Now, anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So this gives us our first answer, x is equal to 1. Now, using the same process on the second equation, converting it into its exponential form, we have 10 raised to the second power is equal to 2. 10 squared means that you're multiplying two tens together. 10 times 10 is 100. So we get our second answer, x is equal to 100. So that's how you could solve this particular equation. But let's make sure that our answers are correct by plugging it in to the original expression. Let's start with x equals 1. So we're going to have log 1 squared is equal to log 1 squared. 1 squared is just 1. And log 1 is 0. So we have 0, which equals 0 squared. 0 squared is 0. So this works. Let's try 100. So replacing x with 100, we're going to get this. Log 100 squared 
is equal to log 100 and then squared. Now, it might be easier to convert 100 into 10 squared. So we have 10 squared squared, and that's equal to log 10 squared squared. When you raise one exponent to another, you need to multiply. So this becomes log 10 to the fourth. On the right, what we have is basically log 10 squared times itself. We have two of them. Now, what is log 10 to the fourth? Well, what we could do is move the four to the front. So this becomes four log 10. On the right, we can move the two to the front of each log. So we're gonna have two log 10 times two log 10. Now, what is the value of log 10? Keep in mind, the base is also 10. 10 raised to what power is equal to 10? Well, we know 10 to the first power will be itself 10. So log 10 is just one. Since log 10 is one, we can now confirm that these expressions are the same. So this becomes four times one, which equals two times one times two times one. So we have four on the left, two times two is four on the right. So these two expressions have the same mathematical value. So therefore these answers are indeed correct. Now let's move on to our second example. That is log square root two X is equal to the square root of log two X. Go ahead and try this problem. The square root of two X is the same as two X raised to the one half. The square root of log 2x can be rewritten as log 2x raised to the 1 half. Now, what do you think we need to do here? On the left, what we could do is move the exponent to the front. So we're going to have 1 half log 2x. On the right, we can't really, we can't move that exponent. So we're just going to rewrite it for now. Now, what we want to do is we want to get rid of this fractional exponent. How can we do that? The best way to do that is to square both sides of the equation. One half squared, that's basically one squared over two squared, which is one over four. And then this is going to be multiplied by log two X squared. You need to square the one half and the log part separately. Now, log 2x raised to the 1 half raised to the 2. When you raise one exponent by another, you need to multiply. 1 half times 2 is just 1. So these cancel, and we're just going to get log 2x. Now, just like any other problem, we're going to take this expression and move it to the other side. It's positive on the right side, but it's going to be negative on the left side. And now our next step is to make a substitution. So we're going to say that a is equal to log 2x, which means that a squared is going to be log 2x squared. I'm running out of space there. So what we're going to have is 1 over 4 times a squared minus a, which equals 0. Now, to get rid of the fraction, I recommend multiplying everything by 4. 1 fourth times 4 is just 1. So we're going to get a squared minus 4a is equal to 0. The next step is to factor. Taking out the GCF, we're going to have a times a minus 4 which equal to zero. And then we're going to set each factor equal to zero. So we're going to have a is equal to zero. And if a minus four is equal to zero, adding four to both sides will give us a is equal to four. So now let's replace a with log two x. So we're going to have log two x is equal to zero. And log two x is equal to four. 
Now let's put base 10 for each expression and let's convert it into its exponential form. 10 to the 0 power is equal to 2x. And 10 to the 4th power is equal to 2x. 10 to the 0 power is 1. Dividing both sides by 2, we can see that x is equal to 1 half. 10 to the 4th power is basically 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. If you multiply 4 tens, you're going to get 10,000. So just add a 1 with 4 zeros. Now dividing both sides by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Add the 3 zeros. We can see that x is equal to 5,000. And so these are the two answers for this problem. And you can check it. You can plug it in to make sure that the answer is correct. But let's take a minute and do that. So let's start with 1 half. We're going to have 2 times a half, and then the square root of log, 2 times a half. 2 times a half is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. Log 1 is 0. So we have 0, which equals the square root of 0. The square root of 0 is 0. So the first one works. Now, moving on to the second one. Let's replace x with 5,000. Two times 5,000 is 10,000. The square root of 10,000 is 100. On the right, I'm going to change 10,000 into 10 to the fourth. Log 100 is equal to 2. Keep in mind this is base 10. 10 squared is 2. So that's why log 100 is 2. Now for log 10 to the fourth, we can move the 4 to the front. So we get the square root of 4 and log 10. Log 10 is 1. So this becomes 4 times 1. The square root of 4 is 2. And so we can see that this is going to work as well. So these are the two answers to this problem. So that's how you can solve some difficult logarithmic equations. Thanks for watching.